my job, uh, you know, so l let's go through the history. I open, yeah. I buy that, I work for six or seven years. I open an office, I buy out an office in, in Northeast Philly. Was that after six years of mentorship, basically? No, it was around four or five years later. Got it. So you said, I'm striking out on my own. Yeah, every time, you know, back then, it was hard getting paid when you had a lot of money in the can. So yeah, I, yeah. I got to the point where I had to fight for my money. Wow. So I said, screw this, I'm gonna open my own. It's so like you had so much inventory kind of going on. Yeah. And it, it was like a battle, almost. Right. And this is in the mid-80s? Well, the, the market started to turn. What, mid-80s, 85, 86? I opened, uh, I bought Jared Realty in uh, 86. The market tanked then. And it tanked, yeah. And then the interest, Black Friday in seven. And the interest rates were going up like the, a, a year or two was later. Was that Reagan? I can't. I think, I think it, so. I think it was before Reagan. I'm not sure. Yeah. But it's anyway, the, Berlin Wall. the interest rates go to 14, 15%, and it was like a crazy market for two years. So somehow I made it through because I was, you know, I was going after listings, and I always had listings in... We, you know, you got creative when the interest rates went that high. Seller financing, you know, you did anything to get through. I could imagine that would really make it difficult for the buyers to work in the marketplace and then even the sellers to sell. Like almost like a, yeah. it, when interest rates are super, super high, yeah. correct? It's kind of hard to move. Correct. So the you're market goes whatever you can do. Yes, you gotta get creative. To survive. You gotta get creative. And mm -hmm. you know, a lot of these owners owned them mortgage free. So they could hold them financing short term and uh, make the deal happen. Wow. But then the market started to come back and I opened my second office at, uh, in Fishtown on Girard Avenue next to the 26 police district. Was that 87, 88? That was in 88. Okay. And uh, I worked that market for probably until 96. And then I'm driving up Delaware Avenue one day and I see this sign at Pier 3 that says foreclosure, huh. condos. And uh, stop my car, go in. I said, this is right up my alley. 